Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. This is a very special reaction. Please scoot over, Sean. Today is the day that we watch No, which has this picture as the thumbnail. Oh, this is the origin story yeah. of the pillow? So this is the pillow that is used as a thumbnail for No. And when we noticed that a few reactions ago, mm. we were absolutely shocked. So Lord. because of that, yeah, I know, it was really funny. So because of that, we are going to react to this performance because, you know, just got to respect the pillow, you know what I mean? The Dimash Pillow of Desire, if you haven't seen this. Has made the rounds. Whoever is feeling more desire, they clutch the pillow. And this and time, she's clutching. I will be clutching the whole time because this is the Dimash <laughs> thumbnail. Wow, great. So I'm very excited. So we will start right now. На льду серебряный призер чемпионата Европы Дмитрий Алиев и команда по синхронному катанию Crystal Ice. На сцене Димаш Кудаберген. Знай! They, the, so this is the third video from that Igor's birthday watched. party, the yes. greatest party of all time. And like every, the, the lighting people have done such an amazing job kind of setting the vibe for each one. Like it, it's hard to tell this is from the same venue. venue. And also Dimash seems to be changing suits every time. I know. Into like, different tuxedos. <laughs> I, was, I would love to see his dressing room. How many that's, a, that's a lot, dude. You know? You know, I respect the grind. Mm-hmm. There's something so gripping about this intro. Yeah, we've seen him do this song twice, and I think this is the best rendition so far. Or that might honestly, I might be forgetting them. But I feel like something there's something different about this. Now, one thing people may have noticed is that uh, the percussion going on. You see yes. the drum player hitting that low tom. Oh yeah. Right there. On it the doesn't right. really sound like a low tom, right? Yeah. What, doesn't what sound like that? Milo Tom. No. Anyways, what that basically usually means in performances like this is there will be like a little thing that they put on the drum called a trigger. So when you hit the drum, it triggers a sample, right? So it has one of the, it looks like one of the sure mics is on there. I can't really see the trigger, but I'm assuming that like either the mic is triggering something or the trigger is like on the on the rim. It could be it on the on the edge right there. But basically, when you hit the drum, it actually triggers a sample that is kind of like just like a, a low frequency thing. And usually those are easier to mix than like a full live kit, right? So he, he's clearly mic'd up, but I do think that we're hearing uh, some kind of like sample trigger because the percussion so far is very electronic sounding. Huh, yeah. so it's kind of like a cross between electro electronic kind of like, drum yeah, kit and a Kind of like how a MIDI one. keyboard would work. Yeah, so it's something that you, you can use to kind of like supplement the sound of an acoustic kit, which the guy's playing hmm. to kind of like have Something that might be a little bit heavier, lower frequency, uh, recorded in a more stable environment that doesn't get bleed like a, like a kit would in a, in a big auditorium like this with other musicians and stuff like this. Hmm. Bleed meaning that like you know that mic on that drum kit isn't gonna pick up like the cello player or whoever is closer to him, you know. Gotcha. So yeah, it's an interesting way to kind of isolate a live drum sound. Making a live drum kit MIDI. Yes. <laughs> Сердце в руки вся, 
skaters but it's like the one guy and all these girls just this is a sean daniel story <laughs> <laughs> played out Stop. yeah i yeah i'm having i i don't know the words to this song yes in english so i don't understand it. so i i i'm not making a connection between what's happening visually it just seems to be something very kind of like artistic modern postmodern art you can tell by the colors and like the shapes and the outfits it's and really like interesting that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Also, this is my favorite part of the song when he goes full. I love you know the the flute is so tastefully placed. I know. Placed. Have we all has it always been the same flute player? I feel like no, this I don't one believe it was. I, I so here's the thing about a lot of these. I think it might have been the first video of Noah that we listened to, where like you know the flute's kind of taken out of the vibe. Remember one of the one of the flute videos was like not. I forgot which the one best. It was. I, th- I think it was because the thing about like a lot of these flutes, especially more kind of like traditional flutes, is they're not tuned in the same way that like other instruments are tuned right Mm -hmm. so like when you hit like like just like a wooden flute that is made in like a traditional sense depending on you know the geography the the area that it's from it might not be like a standard chromatic tuning so i think there was a video there is a video of i believe it's no out there where you can tell there's like a little pitch discrepancy from the flute but this guy He's like he's like right on it, and I think that that's it's it's just such a tasteful flute part that kind of makes the song. Agreed. It to be of, honest, you know. <clears throat> yes, I agree. Signature. I know. I love how he he's. I love watching him count in too. As, yeah, it's funny. It's funny. That's one of my part. favorite things to do is watch musicians who are playing in just a few parts of a song how they vibe throughout the rest of the parts where they're mm-hmm. not playing because it, it, it's such an awkward thing mm-hmm. as someone who's been on a stage like not playing but still up there. I don't know what to do. I usually just kind of try to chill and vibe. But I'm always aware of it. I'm like, do I look stupid right okay. now? You know? So when you're a flute player, you're like... It's <gasps> <laughs> just kind of... I feel for the man. <laughs> Now that's oh, a that's that a was, skater move right was there. That so dramatic. Yeah, can we see? Can we just give this man his due? Let's we'll see that again. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I feel this. No, it's a very tasteful song. I feel like it's a very really relaxed, chilled. Um, Definitely, song. I I yeah, I love it. I and feel like I could just place it in the background and it would just kind of set a mood. To- totally, you, know you, I mean? you could hear it playing at like a trendy club. You know, like like one of those like fancy dinner spots where everything's like really overpriced. This is like you know in the waiting rooms, like vibing. Ah, oh, I love it. And you are the ultimate professional. <laughs> talked about this a thing a few videos ago his um microphone um technique yeah huh and, yeah it does cause when he's like backs up while he's um um backs off the louder, mic while he gets louder yeah it like causes like more of a swell i feel like now this does not appear to be a beta 58 huh? so which has the, the blue what well, the blue ring around it right sm58 this looks this looks to just be a traditional sm58 or it's customized it's probably customized uh, a lot of the wireless ones that they have they have kits that they sell 
Uh, so mm. it's one of the, sh it, but it definitely looks like one of the sure ones. So. <laughs> Like, oh. he's always just, like, so on it every time. I feel like I haven't heard that. I don't know if I just forgot. But I feel like that was something that I don't remember. Really? That's something I hear him before. I don't know. I do, I do wonder if, like, you know, Dimash seems, he's so well prepared and well rehearsed. I wonder how much of his runs are improvised. I don't know. And, but, and the thing is, because they're all so good, like, I can't tell if they're improvised or not. You know what I mean? I would be interested if he's ever talked about this. Please, in the comments, like, let us know. What level of his performances are improvised? Yeah, you know, because obviously he has the ability to, but I wonder, like, because runs like that are so... Like, that's a run he's obviously practiced. You, yeah. You know, you can practice runs just like you practice scales on, like, a stringed instrument or something like that. But yeah, I'd be interested to know if he's improvising or just always kind of on book. <laughs> does that like it's like a lob it's like a yeah yeah know. he's it's like a scat man he's like know. a he's like an eastern scale scat man but in the highest sense of the form i really cannot i cannot with his note he's still vibing he's like literally dancing to his own high note hit i'm like find a, can you can you not find a man who looks at you the way igor looks at demas i know <laughs> he's so proud I, it's so wholesome i know right no wonder for his 60 or mm -hmm. 60th or 70th birthday i forgot what it was you wanted Dimash to sing oh, Of course. I'm, I'm, I invited Dimash to my birthday, but... He, he declined. He, I don't think he got the message. But. Anyways. No is pretty unbelievable. Dimash is the man. Oh, he is the so man. So good. Here you go. Here you can have, you can have oh my gosh, I've had him God. for too long. I know. Oh. He's so cool. Is that, is that whistle note? It was like a whistle note. I don't, like, like I don't know if it got whistle. quite high enough to be whistle. Maybe. It was like a ghost. I'm just, I'm just vibing. If it was, I might have missed it. But, uh. uh... I love how 
into it he gets to. I you know. love it. It's yes. Demash, this, Demash is, I is know, the right? best. On one knee. One knee. Uh, amazing. Well done, sir. Aww. So cute. What a duo. That is literally adorable. They're oh like, my gosh. I love them. They're uh, so cute. I know. Demash is freaking man. insane. I literally will never be over it. Well done. Another, another banger from the greatest birthday party of all time. Uh, truly, mm -hmm. truly, truly. I feel like there was something that I had to say, but I didn't really. Oh yeah, I don't know how his, how does his mic pick him up from so far down? From so, oh, when it's kind of like down here? When he's like, when he does this? Well, so that's the, the pickup pattern hmm. of a 58, of a regular 58 is a little bigger than the Beta 58. Mm -hmm. The Beta 58 has a tighter pickup pattern, right? Which so means? when you see him use the the mic with the blue ring around it, that means it only picks up, like if this is like the ball of the mic, right? Mm -hmm. Here's like the thing. Here's the ball. It's only picking up kind of like what's in line with the top of the mic. The the Beta Fifty Eight has more of a cardioid pattern, right? So it'll pick up a little bit on the sides. So that's why when he uses the regular Fifty Eight, you'll kind of see him play a little bit more with the sides and to kind of self monitor. Whereas when he uses the Beta 58, he's usually straight on, but, you know, distance-wise. What about this? He was, like, kind of far out. Yeah, he, he all, so he's, it's a combination. Like, I think when he got into his head voice, he kind of tilted it a little bit to the side. I mean, he, he works that microphone in ways that I don't understand. You know what I mean? So he's, he definitely is very familiar with the proper mic technique and how to get the best sound out of the ridiculous things that he ends up doing with these you know so floored absolutely floored mm -hmm. dimash once again so this is actually this is so crazy this is the this is the origin of the dimash pillow wow so feel free to go check this out if you would like to links will be below and if you have any more recommendations for us to react to always let us know we're here we're here for you guys yes and we from, will see from you. two deers to another we will see you in the next video goodbye